Okay, proof of concept. Well, kinda. Problem is, if I didn't say it already in this video, the uh, onboard charge, charge plug is a three conductor plug. Hold on. Three conductor plug. One of those just tells the scooter something's plugged in, so don't turn on and drive because you'll rip the cord out type thing. The other one's positive, the other one's negative. From, this is the original 24 volt charger. Well, uh, problem is if you tried to use this female plug and you said, well, how can I do this? I can just run 24 volt LiPo charger to it. That's true, but because these have onboard battery management system boards built in these, um, you know, sealed lead acid replacement batteries, one of these, the, the way they, the way they stop their charge cycle is they just cut off. So the voltage coming in, once it reaches its uh, full charge, it just says connection break, right? Well, then your 24 volt charger is not going to do anything because it's not going to be charging the other one. So in order to get both of these batteries charged evenly, you would have to charge each one with a 12.6 volt LiPo4. What am I trying? Lithium iron charger. <clears throat> I got I got tongue tied there because there's more than one type of lithium. This is the iron type. So 12.6 volts is what you need. Well, in order to get that done with this setup, with these sealed lead acid replacements, which I wanted because they're exactly the right physical size to fit in the scooter, right? Same connections and everything, can you use the same wiring? Well, I was using them that way, and you don't have to modify anything. You just can't use the charge plug. When you get done and you need to charge them, you had to pull the cover open, pull the batteries out, pull them out of series, and then put them on LiPo chargers, each one, till they were charged. Well, nobody wants to do that. You just wanna be able to plug the wire in, so can't use the original charger because it's not for lithium. It's uh, too low of a voltage. Um, it might sort of kind of work, but this way should be uh, foolproof. By replacing the three pin conductor with a four pin and tying into positive and negative from each individual battery, you guarantee they're both get and they, they both have their own independent charger. They'll both have one of these that goes to one of these that goes to the female plug and both of the female plugs will then tie into a four pin, you know, the matching one that matches the uh, new four pin on the scooter. So I'm blathering on here, but the idea is you're going to definitely charge these evenly because both of them are going to get the correct charger for themselves that works with the battery management system that's built in each one. So each of the two batteries will be fully charged. It doesn't matter if the scooter switch is on or off uh, when you charge them. Uh, it will no longer sense there's a charger on board, so I guess if you're dumb enough to turn it on and drive off with wire hanging out of it, you could rip the wire off, but well, I'm not a kid, that's not gonna happen. So, um, the whole point of this exercise is you're upgrading the scooter to lithium batteries, which are far superior, lighter, last longer, both in terms of number of charge cycles and just riding the thing around. Um, and what I wanted was to eliminate this fooling around with unplugging the batteries, plugging them in, flipping them around, chargers and wearing out the terminals on the batteries. So now with the replacement plug, you'll be able to use two exact size lithium replacements of the same amp hour range as the original sealed lead acid that went to the scooter and plug in one wire. The one wire will charge both batteries evenly. There'll be an indicator light on the charger, wherever I just put it, All right? Indicator LED. When both of those turn the color indicating that the charge is done, you know both batteries are done 
fully charged and you're all set. Everything's balanced. The onboard BMS system in each battery guarantees the internal cells for it are balanced. And then this method ensures that both of these batteries are evenly charged with each other. Again, blathering on, but this is the, I didn't see anybody else do this where there was a organized way of having these type sealed lead acid replacement batteries, lithium batteries, run in series to operate the scooter, have some way of charging them that guaranteed the correct charge voltage to each individual battery. So, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. You can pick these uh, scooters up for cheap uh, at garage sales and whatnot because people don't want to fool with them after those lead acid batteries wear out the first or second time and they realize I don't feel like buying these batteries anymore. Well, at the time, they didn't have these. Now that I know that they exist, these uh, there's a bunch of different manufacturers making them. They're the exact same size and shape as your sealed lead acid, so it's a no-brainer of how to stick them in there. Physically get them to fit and connect to the wiring. You just have to figure out the right way to charge your lithium batteries. So, okay, just want to show you. If we tied on two wires that went out to one charge plug, right? There's your 13 volt. These are wired in series right now. But since you're pulling off just the taps from the battery, you're getting 13 volts there and Oops, backwards. 13 volts there, right? And then the charge plug up here, you should be showing, is my fat, yeah, my hands of course are in the way of the meter. There's your 26 volts there. And it doesn't matter if you turn the scooter on, right? This is the important part. You couldn't do this with a three pin conductor for charging there's your 26 volts just like before and these didn't change still going to be 12 volts a piece that's it what we got right here is what i'm talking about lucky new parts eh? i'm probably not going to put a link in the thing in my phone but uh <sighs> electric scooters oh shoot electric, sco electric scooter parts.com is where I got them anyway four conductor what are we going to do these three go down to the control box they do not need to be hooked on unless you're going to charge through this port through the control box to the battery which won't work because then you'd be putting 24 volts into the system and we're not doing that we're doing it a whole different way so what we're going to have is positive negative and positive negative from each battery going up to this this is disconnected from the control box it doesn't need to be on there right so you charge the batteries through the the hole and your 24 volts is provided by the series batteries running to the box to run the motor and the scooter but bada bang you're done and more importantly you just have one non-goofy in the right place plug to plug in. You plug in one wire and you're charging two 12 volt lithium iron phosphate batteries. Uh, dual charging really. Let's do it. Okay, this is going to seem like nonsense. <clears throat> a whole lot of work for not much, but these have been converted to lithium. There's the one plug. Right? There it is. That was the big change. Now it's four conductors. The left side is the positive negative of one battery. The right side is the positive negative and the other battery. Those four leads go straight to the batteries, which are LiPos with BMSs on board. That's why we had to change it to the four conductor instead of three, ba ba da boom. That's the rig. Twin 
14.6 volt lithium iron phosphate chargers that go to one thing. Because here's why. You go camping, right? <clears throat> There's a camping season. Well, between seasons, you may forget. Like, what... What do I got to do here? Because before you had to take the lipos all the way out, hook them to a special balancing charger one at a time. Well, actually, you didn't because it had a BMS on board, but you had to hook them to a special charger. You could not charge them 24 volts in series like the original charger. The voltage doesn't go high enough on the charger that came with the scooter with the sealed lead acid batteries. So you have to get lipo chargers. And in this case, you can't charge it in series because... Each battery has, a, I've already explained this all before, just shut up. Anyway, this is what you got to do. Why go to all the effort? Because to buy that type of sealed lead acid replacements, exact physical size that fits in the scooters, you're done. To get scooters like this that are capable of going 5 to 10 miles for adults uh, and having lithium batteries in them, six or seven hundred bucks these the whole thing looking at right here is about 250 getting them from yard sales or state sales whatever then getting the batteries themselves from amazon then fooling around getting four of these chargers and the four specialty male and female plugs to replace the ones on the scooter and then you got to know how to solder some wires but that's it then you end up with two pretty good usage they're still brushed motors instead of the newer brush less but for camping season these will be great they're easy enough to get you if you camp farther away from other people you want to hang out with to race over there for where they're having a campfire that type of thing so you want to run up to the shower house it's a thousand degrees outside rather than getting all sweaty getting there you can take the old scooter over there and then at the end of the season when you've forgotten how to charge it in the spring, you don't have to take the thing apart to get at the batteries. Just plug it in like normal, like any other thing you would charge. One plug, stick it in there, lights turn to green, you're done. That was it. Thanks for watching.